Hi, welcome to Hard to Reset Info channel dear viewers, in front of me Vivo Y16 and now I can show you how to make your device faster. Ok, um, firstly let's start with the question of why your device is slowing down. Firstly it's because your device is can't, uh, can't handle the load you have put on it. This is either because the phone is not powerful enough to do what you want it to do or because you are not taking good care of it. So you should always understand that every device is designed to perform a certain amount of tasks with a certain dynamic. But despite the above, if you will follow the instructions I am about to give you, you will be able to keep your device in great condition. Okay. Uh, the first and the most, um, the most, I don't know, uh, important uh, aspect that can slow down your device is your onboard memory. So the onboard memory of a device is a limited resource, and when you fill in this memory uh, for 70% full, your device will slow. Down. So I suggest you uh, to not fill the built-in memory more than 70% full. So the first step to speed up your device is to free up memory. You can do it in two ways. First way is uninstalling all your uh, unused applications. To do it, open settings, click apps, click see all apps. Here you will see the list of all your applications with the size of these applications. For example, I want to remove Cube ASR to, to free up uh, 50, gigabyte, uh, 50 megabytes. So open this up, click uninstall, keep data or uh, remove data, click OK and great, Cube ASR was successfully uninstalled from my device. If you want to uh, to remove your photos and videos, I suggest you move it to cloud storage. You can use free cloud storages or uh, you can pay for cloud storages. For example, Google uh, Storage gives you 15 gigabytes for free, then you need to pay for it. Uh, so you can use you can use 5, 10, you, 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 you can use 5 or 10, I don't know. Uh, how much you can uh, use uh, Google accounts, you can create a Google account to use uh, 15 gigabytes for free, then create a uh, next Google account to, to use next uh, 15 gigabytes for free. So, for example, I will show you how to use it. So, click I have read, I have no photos here. So, I will take a photo, wait a while. Okay, okay, don't allow. I will take the photo. Great. So now open Google Photo, Google Photos application, it's pre-installed ap application and click allow, allow and click turn on backup. Storage sa saver or original quality, so just choose uh, the, best, uh, the best result for you and great. Here, as you can see, here I have all my photos and videos from October 2022. Uh, and as you can see here uh, in my device, I have all these photo photos. Why? Because all these photos uh, are backed up uh, in my Google Drive. So if you want to um, back up your photos and videos, just enable backup. Then, as you can see, I have 15 gigabytes uh, for free uh, and I have uh, 600 uh, megabytes used. So, when your photos will backed up, click free up the space and click free up. As you can see, I have only two photo, photos to free up space on my device. Click on this button, click done. And great, now as you can see I have all these photos in my gallery, but I have it uh, available in my Google Photos application. So it's a really good way to free up the space of your device. 
The second aspect that can negatively affect the speed of your device is the lack of RAM. All the processes uh, the processor is running at the moment are running in RAM. All the applications that are running at the moment are also running in RAM. So here again the winners is the one who bought the device with more temporary storage. The RAM can be freed by unloading the running applications or by disabling the background work of the applications. To free up your RAM just open your RAM manager uh, if you use navigation buttons, click on the 3-stick button and if you are using uh, gestures, just enable, j j just open uh, RAM Manager by swiping from down to up and you will open this manager and you just click on this button to free up memory. As you can see, I have no recent apps now. Great! And the third aspect that slows down your device is the files that are left over from running apps. Applications in the Android operation system literally leaving behind a lot of junk unnecessary files that are not noticeable to the average user. So if you will remove any application from your device, it will leave junk files from uh, junk files in your device. So you need to clear it. Uh, so you need to use applications to it. Um, so just find any cleaner, clean master, I don't know, uh, phone cleaner, for example. So just install it, install this app. I will check new apps. So. Um, in Play Store was a great cleaner, uh, deep cleaner app, but it was removed from Play Store, I don't know why, so you can find this app in the internet, deep cleaner, but, but, but this application was removed from Play Store. Okay. Uh, of course, this application is that. Uh, but we need this app only once a week, so you need to use this app really rarely. So, tap, tap, ok, go back, choose language, what do you want, man? Ok, authorization, uh, permit, click permit, hello, go back. Wait a while, and as you can see, as you can see, I can, I have free uh, system now, but I can uh, remove only uh, 36 bytes. Uh, it's because I have a really new device, but uh, here we can uh, remove remove apps from our. RAM, so just clean on this button and here you will see, here you will see app optimizations and as you can see apps was successfully optimized and from time to time you need to clean uh, cache on this device using, using any of cleaner applications from Play Store. And that's it. Using these instructions you will be able to keep your device in good condition. And that's it. Thanks for watching, like this video, subscribe to our channel and bye. See you.